Hi, this is Brittany Madison, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Okay, now I'm blowing now blow. Okay, it. sorry. Yeah. I'm Brittany Madison, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Do one more time. I'm myself. <laughs> All right. And your nephew even said it. I believe your nephew said, if Manny Pacquiao could fight Chris Algieri, why can't I fight Green Mayfield, Birdo, or whatever? Of course. Is, is it, but is that a, just a diversion when he says he's going to fight those guys? Because he's entitled to fight whoever I mean, he wants. I don't get me wrong. I don't think it's a diversion or anything. I think that... You know, I mean, Floyd has always stepped up when everybody said, oh, well, fight this guy, oh, fight this guy, fight this guy. And, you know, I mean, he's been in this sport long enough to make his own choices now. I mean, he's already proved that, you know, that he ain't going to get beat by this guy. And everybody's always barking, barking, you know, about the next guy, this, that, so on and so forth. I mean, just like Keith Thurman, he's begging to try to get the fight. Amir Khan, he's begging to try to get the fight. But the second, the second Floyd said, I'm relinquishing my titles and, you know, you and Earl Spence fight, that became a problem. Now you don't want to fight Earl Spence, but Earl Spence said he want to fight you. He called you out. You know, I mean, a real fighter, that's what you do. You step up because he called you out. You know, just like you're calling out Floyd, Floyd giving you a chance to win a world title against Earl Spence. And start his own legacy yeah, like Floyd. And, but, but instead, you know, you don't, you say, well, well, he's, he's young and he's beneath me. Really? That's the same thing as Floyd with you. Yeah. You know, Floyd's 38 years old. You're in your 20s. Yeah, you know, I mean, so you and, think he should take that fight? I mean, he should take the fight. I mean, if, 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 one thing about this, in boxing, if you're the best at what you're claiming you are, fight whoever they want, who, fight whoever calls you out. You know, and not saying that, you know, I mean, when you're talking about Floyd, it's a totally different. It's a whole, it's not about, okay, you call me out. Because Keith Thurman can't do nothing for Floyd in terms of numbers when it comes to pay-per-view. Yeah. Floyd don't need, I hate to say it, and sadly, no African-American fighter can help Floyd if he fought one of them in terms of promoting the fight. But I gotta say, Jeff, Floyd did break, he, he broke numbers, um, records with uh, Mosley, though. That was like top three, one of oh, the yeah, biggest pay-per-view I mean, fights. That's a hundred years ago. Yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah. about today. <laughs> One, I mean, don't get me wrong, Amir Khan could, but the, the problem with Amir Khan is, you know, he was too busy barking about like Floyd needed him. You know, making jokes that, oh, you know, I'll, I'll do wear these gloves. <laughs> what difference does it make? Dude, you already been knocked out twice, it don't matter. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Floyd don't need you. Need you yeah. for what? I mean, and then you look horrible against our jury. That was my next question. That that might have hurt him even more, you believe? I mean, it, 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 I don't think that necessarily hurt him. I think what hurt him was the fact that, here it is, Floyd is the fighter, is the top fighter in boxing, not you. And when you're not the and you're not the top guy in boxing, you don't make demands. You, you have, you have, you're you not in a position to make demands. And not only that, I mean, you've been knocked out twice. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, go, go and, um, you know, go do a rematch with Danny Garcia. You know, I mean, go do that. Clean that up. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. or Kel Brook. Kel Brook's been calling you out. And he 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 wants no parts of Kel Brook. He wants no Why parts is of that? Because he wants the money, just like everybody else. It ain't no secret. But but if, if 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 it's official that he's not gonna get the Mayweather fight, he got no choice but to go out and fight somebody else. Exactly. I mean, don't get me wrong. And I mean, and, and basically that's the situation now in which. You know, um, we'll see if that happens because that's his only option if he wants to make a, if he's begging for the money, I mean, a fight with Cal Brook will probably, you know, net him probably 15 million. You know, why not fight him? Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, it's big for England, it's big for your country. Yeah. But instead, you'd rather, you'd rather make jokes and talk, talk trash about fighting Floyd and Floyd shut your ass down because he didn't give you the opportunity. Yeah. Now you're, now, now you're stuck. You're stuck with one option if you're really fighting for the money. Mm -hmm. You know, so go after Cal Brook now.
Yeah, Ron Raquel Brook. And yeah, we'll, we'll see if he take that challenge, man. I mean, like I said, everybody's acting for Floyd. But what, they're not, at, they're not stepping up to the people that are calling them out. Just like I said, Keith Thurman. Earl Spence said it on TV, I want you. He wants no part of that. But he's still barking for his name. Floyd's relinquishing the title. He's giving you a chance at a title shot. You know, so go ahead and take the title. Yeah. You know, and I mean, and if you're good as you say you are, if you can beat Floyd, you should be able to beat Earl Spence too. Do you think... When it comes to Keith Thurman, it's a case of skill, recognized skill, and he has a lot of respect for Errol Spence's uh, talent, or what? Well, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I think it's about a payday. <laughs> That's why he's calling Floyd out. But, like I said, he can't do nothing to help Floyd when it comes to pay-per-view, so that won't happen. But that's what I'm saying. If he's not going to get the Mayweather fight, and Errol Spence is still standing there like, hey, well, I'll fight you. Do you think it's, he'll, he won't fight him because he has too much respect for what Errol Spence could do in the ring? Do you think well, that's I mean, what it is? I mean, it has to be. What else could it be? I mean, because, I mean, you're barking. Like I said, when you're barking, everything comes out your mouth is about Floyd. Floyd just created an opportunity for you. I don't want to fight you because you don't do nothing for me. But here's a young guy that's coming up right now that's willing to fight you. Step up.